Hi. Ah. I can't start anymore. I don't have like a hello. It feels so awkward. Anyways, hi, welcome. Um, welcome. I don't know if I have a channel technically anymore. I haven't really posted in a very long time. I'm starting to maybe pose, maybe not. However, three years ago, 2017, you're also like trembling because you're in the bed. But 2017, I was tagged by Gabrielle to make this Thanksgiving tag on YouTube. And I never did, but here I am now. Anyways, this is so awkward. I have not done this in so long and I was so anticipating this. But then I just feel awkward every time that I put on the camera. Maybe because I used to vlog every single day and I put myself out there every single day for just anyone to see. And for the past, I think, two years, I haven't really put myself out there even to like close acquaintances or anyone who knows me except for like very two or three people it's gonna take a while for me to kind of get used to this but i was seeing myself and we did the new year's new year's or end of year tag back in 2017-18 i was looking at how myself i was and how different i feel i feel like a different person in some ways it's good some ways it's bad but i'll do that tag later this is just thanksgiving so let's just get to that but just excuse my awkwardness you shaking this is a mess yeah there we go number one what is your favorite thanksgiving dish coming here later in the game in the u.s thanksgiving wasn't really something that i was super familiar with make this stuffing and with the gravy and when i say gravy it's not really gravy it's just the sauce from the turkey i don't put flour because i think that's gross or cornstarch or anything like why are you making this less healthy the stuffing that i make i put cheese in it i put whatever the theme of fruit is cranberries the bread is like really good bread and soggy-ish but yeah moist more i don't even remember how i do it celery i put just all this stuff except for sage heat sage to be honest my favorite thanksgiving dish is just like putting on the plate turkey with the stuffing and the gravy a little bit of my well not my home it i mean i make it but it's really emerald legacy it was the first cranberry sauce or whatever preserve well, i don't know cheesy potatoes like cheesy hash brown potatoes things love that if they don't have cornflakes on top of them i think that's so I don't like that. You're ruining the good texture of the potatoes and the cheesiness and with that, which has sugar too. Mm -mm. And anything, like maybe a little bit of a yum thing. Yeah, so that's like technically my favorite Thanksgiving dish. My favorite side dish would be, I guess, the stuffing. I don't know, I don't see them really as, like stuffing I don't see as a side dish. I see like turkey and stuffing are kind of the main dish together, but yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I have any. Sorry. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? I don't really ever get to the dessert. We, I think, lately we've had cake, like chocolate cake or something for my little brother's birthday. Before that, I don't remember. I hated pumpkin pie, but now I like it. I especially like making it because it's so pretty. I think once I did slash someone brought also apple pie i don't like apple pie i don't like any pies that are like bought because they're just so sweet that it hurts like literally my mouth hurts so um, with ice cream yeah i don't know i think we've had like ice cream cake before even my brother was born uh, but yeah i don't i guess i don't really have one i'm um, sorry what are your what are you most thankful for um this one was hard because i haven't uh, to be honest with you i've sort of skipped over thanksgiving this year which one year ago two three four all the years ago me would have thought that was a what is it called travesty or something i cannot imagine that i just completely was like oh i don't care too much about thanksgiving but i think mainly because we can't entertain and usually we have people over so fun is out of thanksgiving what i'm most thankful for though is that i'm alive not just from covid but also from just life and last year was a very tough year and i'm just really grateful thankful that i'm alive and i'm happy relatively happy life is relatively good there's like a lot of like more peace in my soul and more understanding of myself and people in life so i'm grateful for that as far as people 
I'm honestly just thinking about myself. Um, that might sound however it might sound, but because like I said, last year was just so rough and I've been basically a people pleaser in a way, roundabout way. I've always thought about, I'm thankful for this person and that person and I've never really been thankful for me. So even though I actually, I wrote a couple of notes and I wrote some people's names, I wanna kind of disregard that. Um, it's not that I'm not thankful for them, but I'm thankful for me. And I'm thankful that I get to say that, that I can say that. What does your ideal Thanksgiving outfit look like? This. Actually, one of my favorites um, is I, I returned it. I forget why, but I returned it and I was so bummed because it was so pretty. It was this sweater that was kind of this color but lighter and it had like like an over the top, it had like this triangle thing with like ranjur. I don't know what you call that in English. I'm sorry, I'm not moving too much because you're like shaky and this is awkward. I feel like so stiff. Um, but yeah, I love that. I like anything with like earthy tones, like crim is it crim not crimson, but a museu, um, like brick red sort of, you know, that more earthy red, uh, brownish, um, cozy, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, gold, which I'm not a fan of otherwise. What is your best Thanksgiving memory? 2016, which is the worst year probably I've ever had until 2019, but what did we even do for Thanksgiving 2019? But yeah, 2016, I remember especially the one moment. I think I had that outfit on actually. I couldn't eat anything except for what I would bake. I was very uh, scared of a lot of different things about food. And it was a moment where I came upstairs, I sat by, or I sat at my desk with the food, or I think, because I also had this anxiety of eating around people at that time and just interacting with you I just really didn't want to I don't know and I remember the moment where I just kind of gave into it I leaned into it as people say now that was because of my professor um, like I think that's maybe not at summer but at one point he had said resistance meets resistance whenever you're faced with anything and he has the seminar why life sucks he talks about him having like this crazy acne and when he just accepted it like fully accepted it not to change but just that this will just be forever this way it started getting better i think he talks more than that but like that's the gist of it and and honestly that's exactly what happened with me i just accepted i may never eat again normal food or like you know normally and it literally i felt it start getting better the day after that or not even the day after that um just that internal acceptance um so yeah that was like the worst and the best year how many words can you make out of the word gobble so i didn't do this beforehand i was trying to like just kind of be spontaneous about it none i mean do i have to use all the letters because then you have bob you have go globe globe well globe is almost all the letters except for one b yeah i'll go with those um what is your least favorite thanksgiving dish the green bean anything especially the casserole because it has i like the onions on top but it has the like chicken mushroom cream whatever in it and i just don't like that i i have a love hate relationship with green beans love them but hate that they have the strings you can never predict that you will or you won't get it so that is my least favorite dish do you have any quirky thanksgiving traditions uh no if this is a tradition i theme my cooking like everything has like let's say one year is like apples ap apple cider so the turkey the stuffing everything the gr um not the gravy the cranberry sauce everything has apples in them not everything but you know so maybe that's a quirky tradition what role do you play on thanksgiving the cook the master of ceremony is that a thing again i love creating by theme and not just I've never really decorated, and I, actually it's not one of my favorite things. I like the cooking and theme kind of part. Where do you and your family usually celebrate Thanksgiving? Usually it's at our house and we have people over. We have friends that we sort of adopted as family and they adopted us as family in a way because we're all kind of here without family. What do you love most about Thanksgiving? Um, the coziness, the earthiness. I used to love being able to have 
the house full of people. That's changed in the past years. I've become kind of antisocial, but I used to love that. I used to love just entertaining people. I'll say that, yeah. Again, with the theme and everything and just like surprising people or just making them feel good. And then everyone getting together. That's always been something, like I said, except for the past recent years, but having everyone together, just I'm a pack animal for sure. Do you receive gifts on Thanksgiving? No, why? That's so weird. Why would you receive gifts? Aren't you supposed to be thankful? Aren't you supposed to show thanks? Why are you giving gifts and receiving gifts? You have Christmas, you have... We actually, I don't know why I think of like New Year's as a potential one, but you have Valentine's Day, you have... Which is not just for lovers. Just any other holiday, why do you need Thanksgiving? No, just enjoy. Thanksgiving to me is about food. I know like the history is all sorts of other things, but yeah, that's what for me it is. Just sitting down, chilling, and food. What do you think has changed most since the first Thanksgiving? So, um, at first I read this like my first Thanksgiving because, again, I came here in the US later. I think people, like to answer that side, I think the people that we've had over and I think in some ways I've become more efficient but also less into it because I don't have my own universe, like my own place, my own people. So I've kind of become kind of disassociated, or not disassociated, but disconnected from it. And then from the very, very first, I imagine the comfort level. You're inside and it's warm. I don't think it was very warm back then. Uh, although we're in the south of here a little bit. I think the food is probably bigger. Turkeys are definitely bigger and less healthy. Like vegetables, less taste to the food. I also think that the circumstances and in a way I feel we've become possibly more united, more together and not so enemies. Even though it's still sort of there, but I think it's less. So I think that's what changed. But anyways, this is... This has been my Thanksgiving tag. Three years later, 2020. I don't see why you would do this every year. Does it change? I guess like what you're most, most thankful for can change, but... Cool. So, as I said, I'll do another one for New Year's slash the end of the year. And then we'll have a lot more to talk about there because, wow. It's been a year and it's been two years. Cause I, I did it last year, but I didn't record it. Or I recorded it, didn't edit, didn't post it. So maybe I'll dredge that up. Dredge is probably not the right word. Yep, brain. Also, this is the first time I've attempted this. It took an hour and it's still not perfect. And I also put a sweatshirt in the meantime over it. I was like, darn it, I worked so hard on it. This side, one, it did not work. Two, I didn't like both sides for me, for my facial shape so i'm doing this kind of thing but anyways wow look i put makeup on for like well 21 minutes technically but it'll be even shorter when i edit it in so enjoy my makeup <laughs> um i hope you have a wonderful day and peace love and compassion all around to yourself and to others and I wish you a less individualistic 2021. Okay, cool. Especially Thanksgiving, starting this Thanksgiving onward. Cool, cool, cool. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.